It's the beginning of November and we're going to take a little look inside the greenhouse. It's been a real Rubik's Cube job in here this year. Coronilla smelling gorgeous at the moment. Bananas and things on the garden furniture. Bring the garden furniture in here so that it doesn't rust over winter. Here I've got some hediciums, I don't know if you can see that, a goodly number of them really. Bartlettina flowering beautifully there in the corner beside the banana. And, uh, and here's the, the show house side, but of course, you know, being this late in the season, it's not very show house-ish. But let's go down this side here. This is the way you can get down past so many things. Aeoniums, pelagoniums, cymbidium orchids on the floor, echiums, hymanthus, more gingers. I really have to cut down on the gingers. This one is a dickium greenii. And down to the end of the greenhouse where we have some baby plants turning around here where buried in the border I have various plants that I want to protect their roots a bit. So there's a Dahlia imperialis, a couple of Rugmansias, Tipicina aeonium banana. Lots and lots of things. It's a bit crowded up this side here. I think if I, for watering I'm going to have to move things out to get in. Although I can get in up the top there as well. And approach it from that side. Bubble wrap all in place at the moment. Try and keep whatever heat I switch on here in the greenhouse and not let it escape through the cracks in the ceiling. There's my protea collection, baby proteas, tucked in for the winter. And let's go back out here again. See the Hedicium greenii, lovely orange flower on it. Begonia luxuriance. Looking good for the moment. And that funny calancho from Madagascar. Okay. Hmm, I get the coronilla scent already here. And uh, that's it.